Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today, boys, we're hitting you in the face with that Sunday upload. Don't worry, guys, I got five videos coming out all next week, except for the weekend. Now, I am going to be trying to do that more where I do, like, five videos a, uh, a week, uh, Monday to Friday. I'm going to be trying to do that more. I'm finding a lot more, it's easier to make and funner to do, believe it or not, so I'm enjoying doing that. So I'm going to be trying that. I just felt like doing this little weekend video because I already have those videos pre-recorded for the entire week. You know, I got I got a new Roasting Bad Trades video. I got another Best Decks video uh, sort of thing. I, I got three normal deck videos. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Also, tomorrow's video, I'm going to have this little like thing I'm going to ask you guys at the beginning. So keep an eye out for that. Anyways, today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Mega Sceptile Starmie Healing Deck. And this is deck that I've been testing out recently and it's been pretty good and been pretty fun so basically the whole combo of the deck is use Jagged Saber heal your Pokemon and use Starmie's ability Space Beacon to discard two cards from your hand and then put two basics and not discard two cards discard a card from your hand put two basic energies from your discard pile into your hand and then use Jagged Saber to heal off a Pokemon on the bench and this is going to be an amazing combo because here's how it's going to work we're going to be trying to get two Mega Sceptiles in play fully powered up not that hard to do. Then what we do is we do Jagged Saber. So when the opponent attacks us, right, they do they do their attack. We take our damage. Then what we will do is we will retreat Sceptile into the other Mega Sceptile. And then we will do Space Beacon. And since we retreat for two energies, we'll Space Beacon, discard a card from our hand. We'll get two energies from our discard pile back into our hand. Then we will go with the attack once again we'll go with our new septiles uh, jagged saber and since we space beacon for those two energies back that we used to retreat our other mega septile we'll use jagged saber and we'll fully heal off the mega septile that we retreated that had damage on it and this is a combo we can keep doing every single turn and it is amazing. It's a very, very powerful combo. The only problem is you may run into some decks that will that can one shot you, which is very annoying and it you will run into those. So that is a bit of a problem, but when you don't, this deck can be unstoppable. It's like it, it's literally like an invincible healing deck. So that's basically, yeah, that's the combo of the deck. Get two Mega Sceptiles in play, get them both powered up. Again, that's easy to do. Once you use one Jagged Saber, you can power up another Mega Sceptile on the bench easily, and then boom, there's your combo. And when you get the Starmie in play, you'll be using Space Beacon over and over with the Retreat combo, and you'll just keep healing off your Mega Sceptile. Mega Sceptile does have some other benefits. It does have an Ancient Trait, which allows you to prevent all effects of opponent's abilities done to this Pokemon, which is good when you're playing against Greninja Break. Even though Greninja Break, it's pretty much an easy win from there. Uh, it's still nice to have that ability for that, and maybe other decks too. I can't really think of any decks off the top of my head, but there are decks that maybe that will the Ancient Trait will help you. And um, Jagged Saber, unfortunately, only does 100 damage. So it's not going to be doing a lot of damage on the money. So you're not only going to be doing a whole lot of damage to really help your cause. Like, you're not going to be one-shotting Shamans. You're not going to be one uh, two-shotting Mega Evolutions, which is a huge problem. But, again, when you have that whole healing combo, you can keep this up forever. And maybe your opponent can't. So that'll be the goal there. Um, so yeah, and again, we got four normal step tiles. These can help us too with Sleep Poison and Unseen Claw. Unseen Claw does 130 damage if they're affected by a special condition. So if we ever get them affected by a special condition, Unseen Claw can wreck them. We got two Shamans, and then one Hoopa, other, you know, Pokemon around the deck. We need the Hoopa for the Mega Sceptiles. And yeah, we got a 4-4 line of Mega Sceptiles, since Mega Sceptile is our main attacker in the deck. And then we do have our Starmie for the Space Beacon. We're never going to be attacking with Starmie, so we don't need to run any energies for that. Getting into the items, we do play one energy retrieval. This is something I kind of feel like I, the deck doesn't need, but we're playing it just in case we play against Garbodor, because Garbodor is a problem, so we can play energy retrieval. Uh, so, because Garbodor will shut off Starmie, and since you don't have Tool Scrap or uh, Starling Megaphone in the format, we can use energy retrieval uh, instead, so that's why we got that. One Escape Rope. Escape Rope is a great card to play. can help you out a little bit in some sticky situations. We got one Level Ball. We need Level Ball just for the uh, Starmie and the Star Use, since they both have under 90 HP. We can Level Ball and grab them immediately. Two Mega Turbos for the Sceptile. This can help us power it up a little bit quicker, so we are going to play two of those. Since we have the Starmie, we don't need to play any more, so we only need two. One Professor's Letter. Professor's Letter is great. It allows us to grab two basic energies, which is perfect for Jagged Saber, to power up another Sceptile. Uh, we got one Super Rod. Now, we're going to be running Super Rod over Revitalizer. Uh, Super Rod allows us to get back stuff like Starmies and other Sceptiles. We're going to be doing that over Revitalizer, so I chose Super Rod over Revitalizer. Uh, that's why I got that there. One Switch. Uh, Switch is just a really nice card to run. 
Uh, again, it works nicely with the whole step tile play. And again, if you're playing against Garbodor, switch can help you out. Instead of retreating, you can switch and then heal off your step tile if you have an energy in your hand. Uh, you got four trainers mail. This is very important. There's a lot of important items in the deck like step tile spirit link, which is probably the most important thing that you're going to need with trainers mail. Uh, we got four ultra balls. Again, it's just draw sport. Um, and again, via seeker, you need them for your supporters. Now, for the supporters, I chose to opt out a little bit different. So we do play one Hex Maniac. Hex Maniac is here for Giratina. And I chose Hex Maniac over Pokemon Ranger because I feel like Giratina is going to be a bigger threat. Um, but you can always run both, which I actually highly recommend. But we are going to play Hex Maniac anyways. And we can use this anyways to our advantage. Um, it can act as like a mini Garbodor um, in that sense. So we are going to run one Hex Maniac in the deck uh, just in case of Giratina. Um, but again, you could run Pokemon Ranger also. I'm probably going to include like a list of like cards you can maybe run in the deck. Uh, I like that idea a lot. So we got one Lysander. Lysander is amazing. Again, you already know why it's there. <laughs> like, the, the, our draw support is going to be three ends and four Professor Sycamore. That is the draw support I went with. We are going to play one fourth giant plants. This allows us to just get a turn one Mega Sceptile down immediately in case we missed out on the Sceptile Spiritling somehow. Um, also, it's just nice to play at Counter Stadium in case we ever need one to get rid of something like Rough Seas or Skyfield or uh, something like that, or like Faded Town especially. I do want to run more stadiums, but there really isn't many to run. Like, you don't want to run Parallel City. You don't really want to run Chaos Town because it goes against Sleep Poison. You don't really want to run Silent Lab because you need that for the Hoopa. So, I don't know. Oh, you could run Silent Lab, though. Maybe Silent Lab is better in this deck, so I don't know. You got one Floatstone. Floatstone is just nice to have on, like, Hoopa or, like, Starmie or something. Four Sceptile Spirit Links. This is obvious because we do only play the four Mega Sceptiles. So for that, we're going to need our four Sceptile Spirit Links. And to round out our energies, we do play a total of ten Grass Energies in our deck. Ten, I think, is a good amount. I originally ran nine, but I found ten to be a little better. Uh, ten just allows us to maximize our energy plays with Jagged Saber before the Starmie kind of gets this thing going. So this is all the stuff I got in the deck. I'm probably going to include a little list of other cards you could play in the deck. Um, so yeah, let's try out this in, uh, Invincible Starmie Healing deck. Uh, air quotes, Invincible. It's not that Invincible, but I'm going to do it. I just got rid of Professor's Letter by accident. But anyways, hop into a game or two with this deck and see it in action. Alright guys, here we go with our first game with our Sceptile Starmie deck. And uh, we'll see how this goes. We're probably playing against a Xerneas uh, Gardevoir deck, which is fine. Gardevoir does struggle one-shotting Sceptile. And uh, we'll see if we can win this game here. It's going to be a very interesting matchup, I think. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, if we can get that invincible sort of healing going on. And that does happen, things will be good. But we'll see. We have a decent hand. We got the Sceptile Spirit Link. We got a Grass Energy. We got a Hoopa. And we got the Ultra Ball, so we can probably grab a Star You. So I'm liking this hand. So it's definitely a Mega Gardevoir deck. So I don't know. Um, this can be interesting. He might be able to get a turn one knockout. So that's going to be a little scary. We might have to build up our bench instead of our active. But we'll see. My opponent does play Sycamore. And he gets rid of a bunch of things like Delinquent and Garbodor. So I'm glad he got rid of the Garbodor because... We do run um, Starmie, and Garbodor basically shuts down our deck pretty badly. Uh, so my opponent trainers mills for ends. Ooh. Oh, no, he already Sycamore. Never mind. So he can't even play that end. All right, now uh, we are going to play the Hoopa down, and we're going to use this Hoopa to grab ourselves a uh, Sceptile and a Sceptile. And maybe we could grab a Shaman. And use it for discard bait? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll grab a Shaman also. And uh, we can use it for discard bait. I don't know if I want to play it down. Like, we could maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we can play down Sceptile number one. We can play down Sceptile number two. And we can put a Spirit Link. We'll put on the bench Sceptile because he could easily just get a turn two Gardevoir and attack us. So we'll build up the bench for a minute. And we'll play Shaman down. And we'll draw two cards. And we're not going to play Sycamore. I don't want to lose a Mega Sceptile just yet. And, okay, yeah, with this hand, I really like it a lot, actually. We can actually attack him next turn if we can manage to get the Sceptile of the active spot. So we'll Ultra Ball away the Sycamore and the Grass Energy. And we'll grab ourselves a Staryu. Now, my opponent does have Garbodor in his deck, so that's going to be interesting. And we'll just pass the turn. Next turn, we can attack with Mega Sceptile if we can get the Sceptile out of the active spot. Or if he does, like, knock us out or something. So my opponent does put that second fairy energy on. There's the Mega Gardevoir. So I'm kind of glad... Oh! It's actually the other Gardevoir instead with the Brilliant Arrow. So that's interesting. So maybe I should have built up this Sceptile in the active spot then? 
it's fine though, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so there's a Sycamore for my opponent, and he gets rid of a bunch of energy. I'm surprised he didn't play end, to be honest. Maybe he just thought I didn't have any cards in my hand to do anything, but I mean, I have such a good hand anyways. I'm glad he did not end me. So hopefully we can get like a switch or something off the Sycamore. We can get the Mega Sceptile on our bench active. We can do 100 damage, and then hopefully we can do the Sceptile lock, where we basically just cycle through Sceptile and basically just completely heal ourselves off and make my opponent have to try and one-shot us. So he does play a Fairy Garden down, and that's interesting. We don't really run any other Stadium cards in our deck, so there's that. There's an Ultra Ball. My opponent will be able to grab something. We'll see what he gets. He might grab a Trubbish, which is what I'm worried about. Okay, so he gets rid of a Skyla and something else I couldn't really see. Uh, two Skylas, it looks like. All right, that's fine. And we'll see what he grabs here. Maybe this is a Mega Gardevoir Garbodor deck. Maybe it does not run the Mega Gardevoir with the um, Psychic type. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm up against. So he does grab Hoopa. And he just concedes the game. Alright, so I guess we'll see you guys in another game here with our Sceptile deck. Alright guys, here we go with our second game with our Sceptile deck. And alright, I'm going to go with Tails here. I do not trust this coin. And it's heads. Oh my god, I keep losing coin flips. It's so annoying. Oh my. Now I think we're playing against a Mewtwo deck, which if we are, that's also going to be a little rip. So we do get the Sceptile start. We have an okay hand. We're probably going to go with the Sycamore or the N. Don't know what I want to do yet. We'll see though. We also got to see what my opponent is playing. Alright, so we see Pokemon Ranger, Skyla, Trainer's Mail. So it is going to be Mega Mewtwo. Does he run Garbodor, though? If he doesn't play the Garbodor, this is going to be good for us, because then we can use Starmie, and it will help us out a lot. So, we'll see how this goes. My opponent is going to go first, unfortunately. Uh, should we draw an extra card? I guess we should. And be a Seeker. Alright, so I probably might go with N here. We'll see what my opponent's going to do, though. He does start with Shaman, and he plays a Shrine of Memories down. That can help us, too, with Unseen Claw, Sleep Poison. Uh, my opponent trainers mails for nothing. He trainers mails again. Hopefully he finds nothing. That'd be great. Yep, nice. He's not getting anything off those. That sucks. All right, so there's a Sycamore. Opponent's going to get rid of a Garbodor, a Mega Turbo, and a Mewtwo. That's actually pretty good for us. I'm glad he got rid of a Garbodor, and he plays a Mewtwo Y down. And we see just a Psychic Energy, and we just see a pass from my opponent. And, okay, so we'll put the Sceptile Spirit Link on. We'll go with the Sceptile and the energy and we'll go with the n instead of sycamore and we will see what we can get here with our hand oh okay we didn't get anything that good uh we do have a sycamore or not a sycamore we do have via seeker for next turn so that's fine so we can go the sleep poison hit him for 10 and maybe we can put him to sleep and help us a little bit all right we do nice so we're gonna knock him out with unseen claw next turn which i'm definitely gonna be happy about and he does wake up so he might go with a sky return maybe uh, we might see that. Now, next turn, we can get a Mega Sceptile into play, which is nice. And we'll be able to go from there. But I really need to get some Star Use. I need to get a Hoopa, too, so that we can start playing down uh, more Sceptiles. So that's also going to need to happen soon. So we'll see what else my opponent's going to be doing here. We see the Ultra Ball. My opponent might be grabbing a Hoopa, maybe. So he does just get rid of a Mega Turbo and a Psych Energy. And, yep, okay, so he does grab the Hoopa. Now, I just really hope he doesn't play down a Trubbish. So there's the Scoundrel Ring from my opponent. And he's probably going to grab two Mewtwo's and a Mega Mewtwo Y, just because he already has the Spirit Link on. So yeah, he's going to grab the two Mewtwo's and the Mega Mewtwo Y. Alright, so uh, just we, okay, we only have an N in our discard, which I was just checking. So he does play the Mewtwo Y down. Does he get the ability to bring it up? That's the question. So he puts another Spirit Link on his Mewtwo. And, oh, there's the DC. Does he have a Supporter, too? Uh, yep. So he plays a Shaman, which is fine. He filled up his entire bench, so now he can't play Garbodor down, which I'm pretty happy about. And now the thing is, is Mewtwo is so powerful, it can one-shot us. And that is also going to be very annoying. We'll see what he brings up, though, with this Shaman. And he puts another Spirit Link on. We see the Float Stone, so he's probably going to bring up Hoopa. And we are going to get hit with a 30 damage for the Sky Return. And, okay. And, yeah, he does bring up the Hoopa, which is annoying. And, okay, speaking of Hoopa, we got our own Hoopa here. We can play the Hoopa. We can grab two Sceptiles. 
and um, like we don't really need anything else. Like there's no nothing else. We don't need Shaman. We could have grabbed it, I guess, but yeah, it doesn't really matter, I guess. So we'll grab the two Sceptiles. We can play Sceptile number one down. We can play Sceptile number two down. We can put a Float Stone onto Hoopa. Uh, we can do the Mega Evolution here into our Mega Sceptile. All right. So we can do Via Seeker. If we had an energy, we definitely could have Lysandered out that Mewtwo on the bench and hit it for 100. But unfortunately, we didn't have an energy. We can end my opponent here and help us out a little bit. So we'll see. Can we get the energy? Okay, we do. We don't get another Spirit Link, um, but we do have a nice enough hand here. We can make this work. Uh, ooh, okay, we can actually put the Grass Energy onto the Sceptile. We can do Level Ball for Staryu. So, yeah, we can level ball, we'll grab ourselves a Staryu. We can escape rope too, and I might do that and force him to bring something up from the bench. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do the escape rope, and we'll force him to bring something up. He could bring up Shaman, go for another Sky Return, but that's just going to help us out a little bit. Then we can play our own Shaman down, draw some extra cards, and hopefully we get more energies. I really want Sceptile Spirit Link too, so that we can start building up the Sceptiles on the bench. That would be great. So let's go with this escape rope, and okay, so my opponent is thinking, we'll see what he brings up, hopefully he brings up Mewtwo, I doubt he will, he might bring up Shaman, but I don't know if he'll do that or not, so we'll just wait, okay, so he does bring up the Shaman, okay, so that's fine, so we bring up the Hoopa, and okay, so let's play Shaman down, and let's set up for four, please give us some energies, or some Sceptile Spirit Links, alright, we do get an energy, um, which is fine, so we can go with the retreat here with the Hoopa, and uh, we can go with the Jagged Saber for 100 damage. Unfortunately, it doesn't one-shot the Shaman, but we can put a Grass Energy onto our Sceptile. Now, next turn, we will need to do something here. I don't know what I want to do. We have Switch and everything. We don't have a Supporter. Maybe my opponent can end us or something. That'd be nice. If my opponent ends us, that will help us out a lot. And we'll be able to end ourselves. And we'll be able to get a new hand. I really need to get a Sceptile Spirit Link. If we get a Sceptile Spirit Link, we can still keep up the Jagged Saber and the Energy Retrievals. But it's not looking too, too good. So there's an Ultra Ball. And my opponent might grab Trubbish. If Garbodor does come into play, it's going to shut us down so much. My opponent, he could grab a Mewtwo Y, though. That's I think that's what he's going to get. Uh, nope. He's just going to grab a Shaman. Okay. And we're probably just going to see the... Oh, so he is going to play the DC onto that Shaman. We see another Shaman coming down, setting up for three. Thing is, is we're still going to be hitting stuff for 100. And this buys us an extra turn to at least get some more things going. So I'm happy about this. Okay, so my opponent does play via Seeker. Alright, is he going to play the end? No, he actually plays Lysander. Alright, we do have Switch in our hand, so I'm pretty fine with whatever he brings up. Alright, and oh, he just brings up a Sceptile with no energy on it. Okay, so he's probably like trying to stall me, which is fine. And he brings up Hoopa. Alright, so what are we going to top deck? Please be something good. Not what we need, game. Not what we need. Uh, we can play Switch into Hoopa. And we can just Mega Evolve into Mega Sceptile, so... We kind of just start at a stalemate. Um, if he knocks something out, we can alt, we can play the Shaman down and start setting things up. And uh, we'll have to go from there. But we can keep Hoopa in the active spot. I don't really see him one-shotting it because Mewtwo, why, thankfully, doesn't hit for weakness with that uh, Psychic Infinity attack. Now, Shrine of Memories could become a problem too, though. That's the thing. If it does, it's literally going to be at a point where we're just going to be swapping and swapping and healing, basically. Because we can get the Starmie. So he does put the DC onto his Mewtwo. And does he bring up the Mewtwo? Or maybe he'll play another Lysander. I hope he doesn't. Nope, he's going to pass the turn. Alright, that just gives us more time to do more things. There's a Sceptile Spirit Link. We'll play that on, and I guess we'll just play a third Mega Sceptile down. And boop, pass the turn. And we'll, yeah, we'll pass for now. Um, we could have retreated and did 100 damage to the Hoopa, set her up for a Lysander play later. Maybe I should have done that. Uh, but we'll keep Hoopa for in the active spot for a minute. All right, my opponent plays another Psychic down, and he can start doing the Shrine of Memories, and he's really going to start hitting me hard with the Mewtwo. And if we can get our own Lysander first, that'd be great. We can hit him first with the Jagged Saber for 100. That'd be nice if we can do that. And, uh, yeah. So my opponent keeps the Hoopa in the active spot, and there's a Skyla. All right, we'll see what he gets with Skyla. 
Uh, I don't really know what he can grab. He might grab Ultra Ball and grab another Mewtwo Y, but there is one in his discard pile. I, does he run Super Rod at all? I'm kind of curious to see if he runs that. No, he got his Mega Turbo. So he's probably going to go for He's trying to go for a one-shot on our Sceptile. And he is going to play a Mega Turbo, getting another energy onto his Mewtwo, passing the turn. And what are we going to get? Finally, we get something. Uh, we'll play the end. I want to hold on to Energy Retrieval just in case of Garbodor. Uh, so let's go and see what we can get. A uh, whole, a whole bunch of nothing. Um, wow. Huh, that's pretty bad. Let's go with Trainer's Mail and, okay, nothing either. This is not good. Uh, I guess we'll pass the next turn. We'll have to try the end again. We didn't really get anything off that Trainer's Mail, which really does suck. And, okay, so, I don't know if, if my opponent will ever try and do a Lysander. I'm assuming he will. How many VS Seekers has he discarded already? Uh, one. So he does have one in his discard pile. Okay. So he, he's down one VS Seeker. And I'm assuming he's just... Okay, he plays a, f a, f a fourth Mewtwo down, which is nice. There's a Super Rod, so he is going to be able to get back the Garbodor and the Mewtwo. I'm kind of glad he didn't play down Garbodor. But, again, Mewtwo can easily one-shot us, which is scary. And he puts another Psychic to Energy down, and he's really devoting his energies to his Mewtwo. So he's going to pass, and what are we going to get? Yeah, okay, yeah, there's no way we're going to play that Sycamore. We're going to have to end him again. I don't really want to do this. I don't want to give him the chance to easily Lysander out as Sceptile and knock it out with Mewtwo. So we'll go with an N, and we'll see what we get. We get a bunch of Grass Energy. We get a Hex Maniac Ultra Ball for the Starmie. Okay, we will put a grass energy, we'll put it onto that septile, we'll spread the energy out, instead of devoting it all to one septile. And we'll go with Trainer's Mail, I really want to get Lysander, so I can Lysander that Mewtwo. There's Lysander, nice. So we will grab Lysander for next turn, and next turn we'll just Lysander that Mewtwo, get 100 damage on it. And if he does go with damage exchange, then that'll be fine, then we can Ultra Ball for Starmie and start the Starmie Sceptile Lock Dealio. Maduder. I don't even know what to call it, but we'll go with that route. And, okay, so my opponent, VS Seekers, okay, so that's definitely going to get Lysander, and he does get the early Lysander off on us, which really does suck. He brings up our Sceptile with the energies on it, and, okay, so we are going to see the Psychic Infinity. It's going to do a lot of damage, 250. Yikes. All right, we don't have an N or anything either, which sucks, so, yeah, we'll bring up the Sceptile. And, okay, what do I want to do here? Alright, so there, oh nice, we top deck Starmie, so we don't even have to do Starmie to uh, do anything. So we can play the Starmie, we can play the Sceptile, we can Space Beacon away Hex Maniac, we don't really need that anymore. And we will get ourselves two Grass Energies out of our discard pile. And we will go with a Jagged Saber for 100 damage. Unfortunately, we aren't two-shotting this Mewtwo. Which is a bit of a problem. So we'll heal off the Sceptile on the bench. And we'll put a Grass Energy onto this Sceptile. I mean, if we ever got the chance to Unseen Claw, that'd be nice. Because we'd be able to Unseen Claw with the Shrine of Memories. And that would be able to knock out the Mewtwo. But unfortunately, it has just a little more HP than us. Which really does suck. So my opponent is going to put a Float Stone onto his Mewtwo. We do see Ultra Ball. We'll see what he gets. Um, with that Ultra Ball, he's going to get a Shrine of Memories and an N. So I guess, obviously, he's not going to N us. And I don't know what he'll get. He just grabs another Mega Mewtwo Y. He's getting a lot of them down, which is scary. I don't know what I can really do this match. And we're going to get knocked out, and that'll be bad. And we're still not uh, one-shotting him, which really does suck that we're not doing the one-shot. We might just have to go with a Sleep Poison play. Hope that it gets heads. I don't know. Uh, no, but he actually uses damage to change. All right, that's fine. We will retreat into Sceptile. We can keep this damage change game up all day long if we wanted to. So let's go with Space Beacon. Let's get rid of Ultra Ball first. We don't need Ultra Ball anymore, so we'll take our two energies. And we will go with a Jagged Saber for 100 damage. And my opponent may realize the lock, and he might just go for a complete knockout, which would be fine. So let's go Jagged Saber... And I might honestly just hold off on the two Grass Energies. Yeah, we'll hold off on playing the other one. We don't need to. We'll hold off on it just for a minute because, again, Lysander, Psychic Infinity, Rexus. Even though we're probably still getting one-shotted, I'm not going to risk it. So 
we'll just we'll stick with that for now. Next turn we can Jagged Saber again. So my opponent puts another DC on his Mewtwo. He's just gonna keep building up his Mewtwo, and he's still going with damage change. If if he plays his game all day, he'll get decked out eventually, which is really nice for us. So again, let's retreat into Mega Sceptile. Let's put the Grass Energy onto our active. Let's go with Space Beacon. We'll get rid of Ultra Ball. We don't need those anymore. Um, we'll grab the two energies, and we will go with a Jagged Saber for 100 damage on this Mewtwo. And we will put the two Grass Energies. And we'll put one onto the Sceptile, and we'll hold off on that second Grass Energy just for a minute. Now, uh, I really, I hate damage change so much. It's such an annoying attack to deal with. My opponent plays another Psychic Energy on his Mewtwo. And he goes with damage change again. I mean, I can keep this up all day long if I wanted to. So, again, let's retreat the Sceptile into Mega Sceptile. We'll play the Grass Energy onto it. I guess we'll Space Beacon and get rid of the... Uh, okay, we'll get rid of the Sceptile Spear Link. We don't, I don't think we need that anymore. Uh, we could end him... Uh, we'll hold off on that for a minute. So let's go Jagged Saber, 100 damage. And we will put a Grass Energy onto the Sceptile, fully heal it, and we'll go with the Dun. I don't know why my opponent isn't Psychic Infinity. Like, he's going to get decked out if he keeps doing damage change. So I don't really know what my opponent's thought process is here. Uh, so again, he goes with damage change. I'm not complaining. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain about him doing that, but... I don't know what my opponent is really up to here, so I guess again we will retreat into uh, Sceptile. Um, okay, so we'll do this. We'll go with Space Beacon, and we'll actually get rid of the end. And what we'll do is we will get into a position where we can um, maybe Lysander out that Shaman. If he just keeps playing all his energy down... We can Lysander the Shaman and try and keep it in the active spot and win the game. Depending on how many float zones he plays. So, we'll have to see there. I wish I had another Grass Energy in the discard pile. Because then I can keep cycling the Grass Energies with the Space Beacon. That would be great if we can ever get one in the discard pile. And, my opponent is going to end me. Alright, so there is end. We most likely will get a Grass Energy. So, I'm not really worried about that. If we don't, I'm going to cry. But, we should be fine on the Grass Energy. Yep, there it is. We got another Sceptile. And we got a Grass Energy, so we can do the Space Beacon uh, cycle here. So my opponent is going to do 100 damage with that damage change. Again, my opponent is making some pretty weird plays, so we will retreat into Mega Sceptile. We will play a Grass Energy onto it. We will uh, Space Beacon away a Grass Energy. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll get rid of Grass Energy, and we get two Grass Energies right back. And we will go with a Jagged Saber for 100 damage. And, okay, we'll put a Grass Energy onto the Mega Sceptile. Um, yeah, we'll go there and we will finish it. And we could just keep doing that Space Beacon cycle over and over again. My opponent will be running low on cards too. I, I don't really know why he's going not going for the one-shots. Um, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. And he is, and there he finally goes with Psychic Infinity for 250 damage on our Mega Sceptile, knocking him out. That other Mewtwo has a lot of energies on it. And okay, we bring up the Mega Sceptile. And I mean, we're kind of at a point where we can't do anything, so we'll just Lysander the Shaman out. And we'll go with a Sleep Poison just for 10 damage. And then we'll see if we can get him to sleep. Nice. Alright, we can. And we can poison him. And he does wake up. If he has an energy, he will be able to retreat and beat and win us. Win the game for him. But if not, we can try and deck him out. I don't really know how we can win. He's got to hope he doesn't run switch or escape. He already used an escape rope. Oh no, we used the escape rope. Um, yeah, I don't know if we can win this. Uh, I'll still use the game. Just It was kind of fun. We even showed off the Starmie combo a little bit. Bit of a weird... Uh, decision for my opponent, though, to not go straight Psychic Infinity. But we can keep the Shaman in the active spot. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have attacked him, but you know what, it's fine. 
We'll see, though, what my opponent is going to do here with his move. We're not going to knock him out next turn, obviously. Um, and maybe we get Lysander the other Mewtwo out also, because that thing also does have two energies on it, too, so. And again, I don't know if he can attack with that. He might be out of energies, which is going to be really nice for us. So, yeah, my opponent is, yeah, okay, so he just passes the turn, so he must not have any energy left. And we're going to press done ourselves. We're not going to be doing anything, obviously. We don't need to. Uh, he might have a DC left in his deck, though. Alright, so he's going to pass again. So, again, we're just going to try and deck him out. Uh, hold on. Okay, can we do anything here to my opponent to not make him do an N? I know. We could, um, Lysander out the Mewtwo. We'll pass for now. Again, this is basically just going to be down to if we can deck out our opponent or not. I don't, like, there's no way we can win. Even if we tried to Lysander Sleep Poison the Mewtwo on the bench, there's an energy. And my opponent had an energy in his deck. And, yep, he brings out the Mewtwo. He says, well played. I'm not even going to respond. And we are going to get knocked out by Psychic Infinity. And I guess we'll find another game with our Sceptile deck. Where hopefully we don't play against decks that can easily one-shot us. Because it's starting to get annoying. Alright, here we go, guys, with our third, maybe last game. And heads or tails. I'm going to go with heads. Please do not lose a coin flip. I've been losing coin flips all night. Thank God. Finally, I win a coin flip. I've been losing coin flips all night. Playing PDCGO. We finally can win one. And, alright, so we are going to mulligan, so my opponent is playing a pure water deck, we'll see what it is. If it's Greninja, easy win for us. And, uh, luckily for us also, if it is Greninja, uh, Sceptile does have an ancient treat that makes Greninja not be able to damage it with a giant water shuriken, which is really big. So my opponent's going to play down a ton of Pokemon there. Um, alright. Uh, we are going to mulligan. And we'll see what else we can get here, and hopefully we can get something good, a uh, nice Sceptile Star would be nice, nope, we don't get anything. We kind of revealed my opponent, we do run Starmie, maybe my opponent is oblivious to what it does, Kappa. And let's see what we get, okay, nice, 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 we have a really nice hand. Alright, so we can start with Sceptile. My opponent does draw two extra cards, and he does only have three cards in his hand, so it's not really the end of the world. We'll see what he is playing against, it is a pure water deck, so could be anything. Uh, we don't run Pokemon Ranger, though, so that's also a bit of a bummer. If it is a Regice deck, let's see. So he does play Regice and Glaceon, yikes. Now, he does play Grass-type, so we could take advantage of this, maybe. So, okay, let's play Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of Lysander. And, yeah, we'll get rid of Lysander. It is going to be important to have in this game, but we'll get rid of it anyways. And we'll grab ourselves a Hoopa. Now... Unfortunately, our Pokemon Ranger isn't in the deck. We do not play Pokemon Ranger, which I had in the deck originally, but I took it out for Hex Maniac because I thought that Giratina would be a bit more of a uh, roadblock for this deck. So that's kind of why I took that out, but maybe that might come and bite me in the butt later on. So, yeah. But we could use Sleep Poison maybe for uh, Red Ice. I don't know. Uh, Glaceon could be a problem too, but obviously we do have Unseen Claw for that. So Lysander may be our best friend here. We'll play the Hoopa. We'll get our Pokemon. It took a while for them to uh, register. I don't know why it took that long. So we can play down the Sceptile. We can play down the Sceptile. We can play down the Shaman. And, I mean, another thing we could do is just do the Heal Lock with uh, Sceptile and maybe deck him out at some point. I don't know. And, okay, let's go with that. And, all right, we do get the Staryu, which is really nice. And, um... We'll play N. Yeah, we'll play N. I mean, I had a good hand with Sceptile and Mega Turbo, but we'll play the N anyways. And try and get more Sceptile Spearlings in play. Oh, okay. Alright, that's fine. We do still get... We still get the Sceptile. We still get the Mega Turbo. So I'm fine with this. So we'll end our turn for now. Next turn, we can knock out this Palkia EX. And put him in a nice spot. We'll see if he does try and build up Aqua Turbo. Instead of putting an energy on, like, Regice or Glaceon. And hopefully he does do that. Nice! Okay, so he does put a Water Energy on his Palkia EX, which is good. Okay, good, 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 good. All go win to plan. Alright, so there is a dive ball. As long as he keeps playing more Pokemon down that Sceptile can one-shot, I'm going to be pretty happy. So let's see what he grabs. He grabs Manaphy. That's fine. That's still easy Lysander bait for down the road. So he does play the Manaphy down. And what else will my opponent do? Nothing. Alright, nice. So Mega Turbo. We don't need that. I'm really looking for a supporter, but it's fine. We'll play the Mega Sceptile down. We will Mega Turbo. Oh, Mega Turbo, come on, play it. Alright, there we go. We'll grab, the, we'll grab that Grass Energy, and we'll, I guess, just go for Jagged Saber. We can't really do anything else here. We don't have any other supporters. No point playing the Force Giant Plants, just in case a Rough Siege does come down. So, yeah, we'll knock out this Palkia, take two prizes. Hopefully, it gives us something we would like to see. And that's good. And we got a level ball for Starmie. Okay, perfect.
So we knock out his Palkia EX. We are going to take two prizes, which is nice. And my opponent does bring out Glaceon EX. But we can do 100 damage to it. And even either way, we can do the Starmie Lock. So he puts a Water Energy on. Does he run DCE at all? Uh, we do see an Evo Soda. So he is probably going to get down Golduck. But that's fine. The more Pokemon he plays on his bench that we can one-shot, the easier it'll be for us to win the game. So, yeah. There's a Trainer's Mail top deck. Okay. Uh, we'll put the Floatstone onto Hoopa. We'll go with an Ultra Ball, a Level Ball, sorry, not Ultra Ball, and we'll grab ourselves a Starmie. We'll get the Starmie, we'll Evolve Star you into Starmie, my dog is barking. And I have something in my throat from uh, dinner, so it's hard to talk. Alright, so we'll play the Starmie down. We'll go with Trainer's Mail. There's a Sycamore, nice. Alright, yeah, we'll just play the Sycamore. Don't mind losing these cards. Uh, I guess we'll play Super Raw. Oh, no, we can't. Um, we'll play the Force of Giant Plants down. And we'll go with Sycamore. I would have end him, but I don't want to end myself to four. Uh, plus, Sycamore gives us the better odds of getting cards we like. And nice. So there we go. So we could put the Sceptile Spirit Link. Or not the Sceptile Spirit Link. Put a Grass Energy on Sceptile. We can go with Trainer's Mail. And what are we going to get? Hex Maniac. VS Seeker. We'll grab VS Seeker just in case he plays... Um, What's that card called? What Just in case he does somehow Crystal Raimi. So let's go with Jagged Saber. Hit him for 100 damage. And uh, we'll put the Grass Energy onto Sceptile. And we'll put another Grass Energy on Sceptile. And yeah, we'll pass our turn. Next turn, we'll be able to retreat. And we could maybe Unseen Claw him. So he does play DC on his Reg Ice. We are going to see a Golduck Break coming down. Easy Lysander bait though, so I'm happy about that. He retreats into the Reg Ice. But you know what? We'll just Lysander and knock out the uh, Glaceon next turn with Jagged Saber. And he's not doing that much damage to us anyways with the Resistance Blizzard. It's only doing 70, so I'm fine. So he does do 70, which is okay. And all right, we will get an Ultra Ball top deck. We don't need that right now. If we get a Sceptile Spearling down the road, that'll be great. We'll go with the Professor's Letter for one card, I guess. One energy. And we'll put the Grass Energy onto our Sceptile. We'll go with VS Seeker for the Lysander. I mean, we could knock out the Golduck Break, but that Glaceon, it's an easy prize. Because that thing still can be a pain for us since we do run a Mega Evolution. So we'll knock out the Glaceon right now. We'll go for 100 damage. And next turn, we can try and get another Sceptile into play. And then we just keep up a lock with the Starmie, Star Beacon, Heal thing. So that'll be the plan. So we'll take our two prizes. What is it going to be? Sceptile Spirit Link, and nice. Okay, so we do get a Spirit Link, so we can probably get another Mega Sceptile next turn. We have an Ultra Ball in our hand, we will. And if we get a VS Seeker, we can just win the game by live standing out the Mana Fee. My opponent plays Team Flare Grunt, but that's fine. We got Starmie, so it's all good. My opponent plays a Water uh, Splash Energy on his Reg Ice. All right, so how am I going to approach this? Uh, okay, Ultra Ball. So let's just Trainer's Mail. Let's see if we can even get a VS Seeker to win the game. No, we don't. We get an Ultra Ball, so we'll grab that. And we will put a Sceptile Spirit Link onto Sceptile. Okay, hold on. We'll, we'll hold off on that for a sec. We'll go with Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of Starmie and Ultra Ball. And we will get a Mega Sceptile if he's in the deck. Yeah, alright. How many VS Seekers are in the deck? Three, nice. So we still have all three VS Seekers so that we can win the game. And, okay, we'll grab the Sceptile. We'll play him down. And if we get a Water, a Grass Energy, sorry, we will retreat into the other Mega Sceptile and go with Star Beacon. So let's see. Yep, there we go. We got a Spirit Link. We, okay, we win the game next turn. Uh, that's pretty nice. So let's put a Grass Energy onto Sceptile. Let's just... Let's just Star Beacon. We'll get rid of stuff I don't need. So we'll get rid of N. Yeah, we'll get rid of N. We don't need that. And let's retreat into the Sceptile. Because if we, if we get N to 2, it'll decrease our chances of getting to be a Seeker to win the game. So that's why I did that. And let's go with Jagged Saber here for 100 damage, or actually 0 damage, sorry. It won't do anything, but we can heal off that Sceptile on the bench. And we'll, we'll win the game at next turn with a Via Seeker for the Mana Fee Knockout. And we'll be fine from there. So my opponent plays a Rough Seize down, which is fine. And I guess he'll just go with the Resistance Blizzard. Yep, Resistance Blizzard for 70. And just like that, we win the game, folks. A bit of a quick game, but we were able to show off the Sceptile Lock. You know what, just, just... Just to troll my opponent, um, we'll retreat into Sceptile. We'll keep that Sceptile lock going. 
So we'll do this. We'll play the Grass Energy onto our Sceptile. We will do the Space Beacon. We'll get rid of Star You. Rip my boy Star, Star You in the chat. Hashtag rest in peace. You will always be remembered. Rip. Rest in peace, Harambe, man. Harambe's death. It will be remembered for the generations. Um, and yeah, let's go VS Seeker for Lysander on that Mana Fee. And it is weak to Grass, so it's going to get one-shotted. And that's nice. So let's go. Boom, VS Seeker. Lysander that Mana Fee out. And let us jagged save. My opponent has an angry face, probably because I slow rolled them. I feel bad um, for that. We'll just play the grass on, heal them off anyways. We're not going to play both. And boom, just like that. We win the game, folks. And yep, boom, there's our two prizes. And let's see, what are we? Are, okay, nice. We do get the wheel. Can we get something nice? 25 coins, I will take that. Uh, nice. All right, we get a mystery box, too. I feel bad for my opponent. I made him a little angry there. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry if you watched this video, man. I apologize for that slow roll. Um, you know what? We do have 200 coins, so... And I do want to buy another pack, and I, I like buying these Evolutions packs, just if I pull something like EX or something. I still am looking for slow bros, and... I'm, pardon me, I've been too lazy to try and get them out of the... thing, so... Let's buy the Weezing bundle, just because I don't have Weezing yet. And... Okay, yeah, I didn't have the Weezing, so we'll open up this Evolutions pack, and then we'll end the video off there. We got, uh, two games in. Uh, even though we did get the one game at the start, it didn't really count as a game though, so I'm not gonna count that. Um, okay, so let's open up the Evolutions pack. I am running a little low on packs. I only have 55 Roaring Skies packs left, which is a bit of a bummer. We can easily get more though, just from grinding Legacy tournaments. So let us open up this pack. What are we gonna pull? We get a Star U. We got Coffee. We got two rares. And Hallelujah! We got ourselves that. I think that's a secret rare. Then we're gonna pull. So we do get Slowbro, which is amazing. I was looking for more of these, so I'm actually happy I pulled that. And our rare is, yeah, I knew it was gonna be a secret rare, Flying Pikachu. We did get the Reverse All uh, Seal. So that was a pack. That was a good pack. We did get a Slowbro, which I really needed, so I can make a Slowbro video in the future. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend Sunday video. If you did, hit like button, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for PCO videos. Help me on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We just recently hit 800 subs. Thank you guys for that. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>